Okay, please tell me that you have decided to help me find proof against Dante and Brenda. We're going to have so much fun working no, together. No, 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 that's not why I called you. There's a chance that Jerry died last night. A trap for Jerry, but he's one step ahead of us. Did anyone die? Just Jerry. If he's really dead, he shot a bystander as a diversion and was okay. able to get away. How did he supposedly die? There was a crash. Lucky set up a roadblock. Jerry decided not to stop. He drove right through it. Right off a cliff. Jerry survived worse in the past. I mean, every fatal crash or explosion is just a cover so Jerry can figure out his next move. Okay, nothing's certain until I see Jerry's dead body. I just wanted you to know what was happening. I have to tell Jax. He's been in knots ever since he heard that Jerry was back in town and after Brenda. And if what you're saying about Jerry is true, then Brenda can go back to her fabulous life and we can all be in okay, peace. Okay, don't you get ahead of yourself. First, we have to confirm Jerry's death. I hope he's dead. I know that sounds awful, but Jax is still holding on to hope that his brother can be redeemed. And if he were dead, I'd just be over for all of us. It'd be over for Jax, not for Brenda. Even if we find Jerry's body, we still have to confirm that he's the Balkan. Listen, just, just keep monitoring the police mainframe, okay? And let me know the minute anyone confirms Jerry's death. I, I gotta go. Hey. Sorry to bother you. There's no one else I can talk to about this. Uh, what's, uh, what's going on? Well, first, is, is Sam or Brenda here? No, it's just us. It's about Abby. More trouble with another customer? No, no, it's nothing like that. When I beat that guy up in the street, I thought Abby would never talk to me again. But she was nice. She understood exactly what was going on. It's just so easy with her, so I thought, what the hell? And I asked her out, and she said yes. And then, she just changed her mind. And there's only one reason why no, she did that. There's never only one reason. Yes, yeah, she's afraid of me, Jason. I lost like three different times with her. She's scared, you know, and honestly, I don't even blame her. Is that what she told you? No, no, she said she's too old for me, but I know that's not it. You think Abby would lie to you? Abby's honest with me about a lot of stuff, personal stuff. But this is different. She didn't want to hurt my feelings by admitting... She's afraid I'll lose it and take it out on her. Now we're sure Abby liked me. She told me she did. She probably does. But for her own reasons, she can't be with you. I, I, I get out of control sometimes, and I lose my temper, right? But I would never hurt Abby. I know that. And Abby probably knows that too, but you have to respect her wishes. No, I need to know the real reason why she won't go out. It may not even be about you, Michael. Maybe something happened to Abby to make, make her extra cautious. Well, it's one of the things we have in common. You both know what it's like to get hurt. And we swore ourselves we'd never go back there again. This is Abby's call. <sighs> I just don't think it's right. Yeah. So far, no sign of Cherry's body. Uh, Spinelli's gonna call me when they find anything. You know, the lines, as, as blurred as they were to begin with, I mean, they've been completely obliterated at this point. I mean, you're a killer. Murder is one of the worst things a person can do in our society, and, and you've gotten away with it how many times, and here I am working with what you. What are you talking about? I think I'm the one who's actually taking the risk. You have more access to this organization now than you did when you were undercover. Maybe you're going to turn around and bust me. I can't. I can't. You can just turn me in for covering up Alexander's death. My badge is in your hands. So is Michael's future. You got him paroled. He's living with you. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize that. Well, I guess we've got to stay on At least until Michael's parole is complete. I'm not interested in taking your badge, Dante. Is Brenda here? I sent her home with a uh, guard. Wow, she's, she's with Sonny. Was she off in that house in the woods? Uh, he didn't say, but probably. <laughs> Have you seen that place? Yeah, she did a security sweep on it. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. I mean, he, he's got that huge place here. Why does he need another place for them in the woods? Well, that's what he does for her. What do you mean, like a tradition? He bought her a cow pasture once. What? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was a cow pasture, but it was an open field with cows. And suddenly he decided that he wanted to take Brent on a picnic, and he bought the land. <laughs> he nearly gave the farmer who owned the place a heart attack. 
you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. He walked up to the door, said, I want to buy this land. Wow. Stretch limo, a couple guards, plus yourself, Sonny in his tailored suit, standing on this guy's front porch, telling him that he wanted to buy his property so he could take his girlfriend on a picnic. Uh, Sonny actually overpaid for that property. Did the guy even want to sell the place? I mean, did you ask that? No, I, I doubt Sonny. I said all he wanted to do was take Brenda on a romantic outing, and so he did. He didn't give any thought to who he was stepping on, what random stranger's life he was upending. I mean, what happens What happens if that place was, was like in a family for decades? Maybe it was going to be willed to his grandchildren. Why do you care so much about a farmer you never met who made more money than he could ever imagine? I so care. I care because he was bullied. He didn't get the chance. He was allowed to refuse the offer. And the guy who made the offer is my father. You ever think about the people you kill? Should I call Diane? It's just a question, hypothetical. I didn't expect you to actually answer it. And then you've already covered the fact that I, I have no power in busting you, and I'm beginning to think I don't have any power to bust Sonny. Yeah, you know what? You could arrest Sonny. You could testify against him. You could probably send him to prison for the rest of his life. But you know what? He would never say a word about what you did to protect Brenda. Not for Brenda's sake. No, for your sake. Because you're his son. Well, what about the people who aren't related to Sonny? I mean, like that farmer or a cop I knew growing up who became an inconvenience, so he died. I think you were too young to pull the trigger because I wouldn't be able to work with you. I mean, I... You've killed plenty of people against me. You know what? Talking about this is going to be counterproductive. No, it's great for me, you know, because I've realized just how much I've compromised myself. I'm supposed to uphold the law. That means I'm supposed to protect people against guys who take whatever they want. Guys like Sonny and Jerry. Well, you can't, you, you can't compare Sonny and Jerry. Jerry is a complete psychopath. He does what he does for fun and amusement. Yeah, and Sonny kills people when he can't get what he wants any other way. That puts him a not like what may be a notch above Jerry. But not in not in the dead's eyes of their family. You know, you might not like what Sonny stands for, but he doesn't kill innocent people. Yeah, well, Sonny sure is a disaster for anyone who's in close to him, and that, that includes Brenda. You know what? If if that's how you feel, maybe you should tell her that. I have a conflict of interest. Why don't you tell her? Me? Why me? Yeah, because you know why? Because she listens. No, she doesn't listen to me. She doesn't listen to anybody. Yes, yeah, she does. She kicks and screams, but in the end, she does everything you tell her to do. Tell her to go back to Rome. I, I, I would love to, but not until she's safe. Well, she's not safe. She's not going to be safe with Sonny either. You know that. He's bad for her, unintentionally, but he messes with her head, and she can't handle it. She's not strong enough. I, I know that. And talk to her. Talk to him. Try and make this, this better before it gets any worse. I, I am supposed to keep Brenda alive. That's it. That's where my job stops. If you want to do anything more, that's on you. Yeah, Falcon Harry. Yeah, Sergeant. Smelly, what's going on? What do you got? All right, thank you for getting back to me so fast. Okay, you know, just keep watching the waterfront cameras. If he shows up, that's where he's going to be. <sighs> Can't find Jerry's body. Yeah, you're all right. He's not dead and he's coming after Brenda. If you love Lady Jane and Jax, you'll leave now. Oh, but I do love them. I'm looking forward to a family reunion. How do you expect Jax to react to your threats against Brenda? <laughs> but it doesn't suit you, Carly. We both know your life would be immeasurably better if Brenda were not in it. You should be thrilled that I'm going to rid you and Jax of that little bitch once and for all.